Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. So now I am starting the next problem in correlation analysis. That is problem number 7. Already 6 problems I have completed till the last video. Explaining how to calculate the correlation coefficient according to Carl Pearson method. When deviations are taken from actual mean and when deviations are taken from assumed mean. Now in this video, one problem I am going to explain you about Carl Pearson and the other problem will be from Spearman's rank correlation method. This is the second method of calculating the correlation coefficient. So before <coughs> starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready the problems. Without having these problems, you cannot be able to understand the lecture. And Take a screenshot of these two problems, then I explain. <clears throat> Come on, see the problem number seven. Seventh one. Calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation from the following data x values are given 28 41 40 38 like that and y values are given 23 34 33 34 so values of x series and y series are given we have to calculate the carl pearson's correlation coefficient first of all you need to draw two columns only don't draw all the columns leave sufficient space later on we will draw the columns first x column the values are x x are given the values of y are given Take the total of x, summation x 387, summation y 331. After calculating summation x and summation y, immediately you should calculate the mean and see whether the mean is in whole number or in fraction. So x bar is equal to summation x by n. So 387 divided by 11. Check 11 items are there or not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Totally 11 items are there, 11 observations are there. So 387 by 11, 35.181, it is in fraction. When the mean is in fraction, it is better to take the deviations from assumed mean. Similarly, y bar is equal to summation y by n, 331 by 11, 30.091. Both the means are in fraction. So we'll take the deviations from assumed mean. So assumed mean should be nearest to the actual mean. Here actual mean is 35.181. So let the assumed mean of x be 35. 35.181 is the actual mean. I have assumed mean as 35. You can take any other value also. So many values are given. You can take 28, you can take 41, 40, whatever you like. Ultimate answer will be same. But the problem is time taken will be more. The assumed mean should be nearest to the actual mean. That will be better. To, in order to save the time right so here I have taken 35 similarly the actual mean of y is 30.091 so I have taken an assumed mean as 30 only so assumed mean of x 35 assumed mean of y is 30 that I have assumed now we need the column dx dx dy dx square dy square dx dy these are the columns we require First of all, dx. x minus a. a stands for assumed mean. Here, assumed mean is 35. So, x minus 35. So, 28 minus 35, 41 minus 35, 40 minus 35. Take all the values. Summation dx, you are getting 2. Similar, dy. y minus a. So, a is 30. Assumed mean is 30. So, y minus 30. 23 minus 30. 34 minus 30. 33 minus 30. 34 minus 30. Like that, you can be. Summation dy1. So we have opened the column dx. We have opened the column of dy. Now square. dx square. 7 7s are 49. 6 6s are 36. 5 5s are 25. Square it and take the total 178. dy square. 7 7s are 49. 4 4s are 16. 3 3 is a 9. 4 4 is a 16. Take the total 195. We got dx square. We got dy square. Now dx into dy. Product. Multiply. 7 into 7, 49. 6 into 4, 24. 5 into 3, 15. 3 into 4, 
12 like that here you are writing 5 into minus 2 so plus into minus will become minus minus 10 remaining all minus into minus will become plus minus into minus will become plus take the total 105 is the total of summation dx dy that's all we got all the calculations the next thing you have to remember the formula and substitute the values now formula Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient r is equal to summation dx dy minus summation dx into summation dy by n divided by summation dx square minus summation dx whole square by n under root similarly again root summation dy square minus summation dy whole square by n already in the previous videos we have applied this formula no change at all now substitute summation dx dy is 105 minus dx into dy here 2 into 1 2 into 1 divided by 11 n n is 11 n is 11 denominator 178 dx square is 178 minus dx dx is 2 2 whole square by 11 under root then again root dy square dy square is 195 minus dy dy is 1 1 whole square by 11 so 105 minus 2 1 is 2 2 divided by 11 you will get 0 0.182 178 minus 2 2 is 4 4 divided by 11 0 0.364 195 minus 1 square divided by 11 1 by 11 0 0.0909 then 105 minus 0 0.182 104.818 then 178 minus 0 0.364 177.636 root here also 194.909 root now after root you are getting 13.328 here also after root 13.961 Multiply these two terms, you'll get 186.072. Divide it, you'll get 0 0.563. 0 0.563 is the correlation coefficient between x and y. That's it. So totally Carl Pearson's method I have completed. Totally seven problems I have taken from Carl Pearson. Now from eighth problem onwards, I have the problem from Spearman's rank correlation method. There are some statistical variables where the variables cannot be measured in quantitative terms. There, are, there, is, there will be statistical data which is qualitative. When the data is of qualitative in nature, then we can arrange in some serial order and give the ranking. Example, the statistical data may consist of honesty, beauty, efficiency, character, morality these are the things which we can feel but we cannot measure we cannot measure the beauty we cannot measure the efficiency we cannot measure the honesty so these are qualitative uh, items so how to find out correlation between qualitative items Edward Spearman has given one formula to find out the correlation when the data is qualitative and we can arrange them in some order giving the ranks and calculate the correlation right so next problem is eighth one. Ten competitors in a beauty contest are ranked by three judges in the following order. A beauty contest was conducted. Ten participants are there. Three judges are there. The judges are giving the ranks to beauty contestants. So first judge has given the ranks one, six, five. And a first contestant when she appears, he has given first rank. Second contestant appears, he has given sixth rank. Third con contestant appeared, he has given fifth rank. Like this, ten ranks have been given by first judge. Similarly, second judge has given three, five, eight, four, seven, like this. These are the ranks given by second judge for ten contestants. Third judge, six, four, nine, eight, one, like that, ranks are given by the third judge. Ten contestants. We can see different judges are diff giving different ranks to different contestants. Now what it is asking you, use the rank correlation coefficient to determine which pair of judges has the nearest approach to common test in beauty. Pair, pair means two. We have to find out the correlation between different pairs. So three pairs we can make. The first pair is first judge and second judge. This is a pair. Then we make the pair between second judge and third judge. One pair is there. Then third case is we can take the first judge and the third judge. 
and find out which pair of jets has the nearest approach to beauty. So how to find out? We'll calculate the correlation coefficient. Wherever correlation coefficient is positive, that means that pair of judges has the common test. When the correlation coefficient is negative, that means pair of judges are not on the same platform. Both the judges are opposite. When judges ranks are opposite, negative. When judges ranks are positive, both judges are moving in the same direction. Common test in beauty. That's it. So now we calculate correlation coefficient between different pairs. First one. Calculation of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient case one between first judge and second judge. I am taking the pair first and second. First judge ranks are given one, six, five. All these things are taken from the problem. Second judge ranks three, five, eight, four. I have taken all the ranks. Now we need D, capital D. D stands for difference between the two ranks. So R1 minus R2. D stands for R1 minus R2. 1 minus 3 minus 2. 6 minus 5, 1. 5 minus 8 minus 3. 10 minus 4, 6. Like the differences you have counted. Now square the differences. 2 square is 4. 1 square, 1. 3 3 is a 9. 6 6 is a 36. 4 4 is a 16. 8 8 is 64. 2 2 is a 4. 8 8 is 64. 1 1. Take the total D square, 200. Summation D square is 200. Calculations are all. Now, what is the formula given by Edward Spearman? So, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n cube minus n. 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n cube minus n. I told you in the previous video also. Simply watching the video, listening the lecture, that is not, the, not enough. Always keep a notebook beside you. Write down all the formulas. Until and unless you practice yourself after listening, it will become very easy to follow. Practice yourself. Just like a person cannot learn swimming by just watching the swimmers. Just watching the swimmers, he cannot be able to learn swimming. If you want to learn swimming, you have to get down into the pool. Apply your own effort. Try yourself. Then only you can be able to become a swimmer. Otherwise, you will never be able to swim. Same is the case with statistics. Simply watching, listening does not make any difference until unless you practice yourself. Write down all the formulas. So here, 6 summation d square, 1 minus 6 into summation d square, 200. Divide by n cube minus n, 10 cube minus 10. 10 cube means 10 into 10 into 10. It is 1000. 10 cube means 1000. And minus 10. 1000 minus 10 will be 990. So 6 into 2, 1200 divided by 190. 1200 divided by 190, you are getting 1.212. So 1 minus 1.212, you are getting minus 0.212. The correlation coefficient between first and second judge is minus 0.212. What do you conclude? There is no common test of beauty between first and second judge. They are moving in opposite direction. The test is not coinciding between first and second. Now we'll try for second and third. Between second judge and third judge. Second judge ranks are given 3, 5, 8, 4, whatever given in the problem. Then third judge R3, 6, 4, 9, 8 given in the problem. Now D is equal to R2 minus R3. 3 minus 6, 5 minus 4, 8 minus 9. 4 minus 8, 7 minus 1, we have taken. Square it. So 3, 3 is a 9, 1, 1 is a 1, 1, 1 is a 1, 4, 4 is a 16, 6, 6, 36, 8, 8 is 64. Take the total, 214 is the summation d square. Again, we apply the same formula. Spearman's rank correlation, 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n cube minus n. So 6 summation d square, 214. So 6 into 214 divided by 10 cube minus 10. 1000 minus 10 is 990. Multiply 6 into 2, uh, 2, 214, 1284. So 1284 divided by 990, you will get 1.2970. So 1 minus 1.2970, you will get minus 0.297. Again, 
there is no common test in beauty between the second judge and the third judge. No common test. Moving in the opposite direction, second and third. Now finally we compare the first judge and the third judge. Case 3. Between first judge and third judge. First judge ranks are given. Third judge ranks are given. R1, R3. Now D is equal to R1 minus R3. Six min uh, 1 minus 6, minus 5. 6 minus 4, 2. 5 minus 9, minus 4. 10 minus 8, 2. After calculating D, square it. D square. 5, 5 is a 25. 2, 2 is a 4. 4, 4 is a 16. 2, 2 is a 4. Take the total, 60. Summation of D square is 60. RS is equal to 1 minus 6. Summation of D square. 6 into 60. Divide by 10 cube minus 10. 6 into 60, 360. 360 by 990, 0 0.364. So 1 minus 0 0.364, you will get 0 0.636 positive. First pair, one, first judge and second judge negative. Second judge and third judge negative. First judge and third judge, there is a positive correlation. Plus 0 0.36. Conclusion. Ultimately, it is asking you in the problem, which pair of judges has the nearest approach to common beauty. So we can conclude first and third judge have the common taste in beauty. Whereas other pairs, they are not common, they are opposite. Here, the ranks of first judge and ranks of third judge are moving in the same direction. Both are having common taste. There is a nearest approach to common test in beauty between first judge and third judge as its correlation coefficient is positive. Plus, here it is negative, here it is negative. That's all. Ha, so, in this video, I have explained one problem on Carl Pearson that is finished. Now, one problem I have explained fully regarding Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Specifically, if it is asking, then only we apply rank, always. If it is asking you only to calculate correlation, we go for Carl Pearson. That's all. Inshallah, one more video, final one more video is required for correlation that we'll do it in the next.